誒圈主席嚇呢、这個誒、呃、三毛象各位誒、呃、醫學嘅先進嚇誒、啊呃、大家早晨誒、呃、今年係我第五年嚟澳門嚇呢、啊这個基金會係一年比一年誒、呃、繁榮誒、呃、而且越嚟越好啊！非常恭喜今日嘅主講人咧，誒、呃、趙孝明醫生咧，佢係依個誒、呃、國立陽明大學嘅教副教授，誒喺依個英國牛津大學嘅醫學博士，誒、呃、就。以前喺依個榮榮民總醫院做過眼科嘅，尤其係 Regina 依、这個誒主治醫師啊，誒一係英國牛津大學眼科科學會嘅會員，誒、呃、同時咧誒佢係而家台灣誒、呃、網網膜醫學會嘅執行秘書長。誒、呃、佢有幾個專利嘅發明啊！誒、呃，仲有咧，佢而家係台北嘅正興醫院嘅眼科主任。佢今日講嘅主題咧，就係嘅呢個視網膜嘅誒缺血性嘅問題啊！我哋啊，請你，請你開始。Bye, President and the Coordinator, and uh, thanks for uh, that and uh, Professor Shea's uh, very kind and brilliant introduction for me. And today I want to share some of my results uh, with everybody, and uh, which is uh, retina ischemia. And here it's very important, uh, and also uh, re it's relevant to brain ischemia. The current uh, steroid, antivirus, protectant, stem cell gene therapy, and retina chips. Uh, just share with my result. Uh, as we know that uh, Chinese got uh, the first uh, medicine Nobel Prize. Actually, start from uh, 1996 uh, until uh, now uh, is 20 years. I carry on the same research with the. Uh, 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 and uh, we uh, actually, as we see, this is uh, uh, actually Actually, uh, our study is uh, uh, mainly focused on the Chinese herbal and uh, taking advantage of the Western medicine. As we know that you, if you want to carry on the Chinese herbal study, you've got to have very strong background at the Western medicine. So this is the outline that I'm going to go through. Uh, ischemic model and food science and new protectants, Chinese herbal and cell therapy, gene therapy and retina chips. As we know, ischemia, retina ischemia associate ocular disorders such as uh, central retinal artery occlusion and age-related macular degeneration and also the glaucoma and also vision-threatening diabetic retinopathy, which are very important. There are a lot of people got this uh, ischemia-related uh, ocular uh, disorder such as diabetic retinopathy. I'm going to go through all this uh, disorder. Uh, in the past year, we have only steroid, but now because of the uh, Professor uh, Judah Falkman, his idea regarding the anti to treat the tumor, so we have a uh, 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 anti uh, go through the VEGF. VEGF got uh, five, five, five types, including the placenta growth factor, and the most important receptor is the receptor 2. It's related to the VEGF, and also uh, VEGF1 is a decoy receptor. The common uh, commercial product is anti-VEGF, uh, it's Avastin, Lucentis, and uh, also Ivia. Uh, this is my patient's got a branch retinal artery occlusion and central retinal artery, artery occlusion. As you can see, this is a cherry red spot. And this is central retinal band occlusion. 
and this is branch retinal artery occlusion with uh, OCT proved that they got a systolic edema and actually this disorder is very hard to be treated uh, um, our, uh, my publication before we used the transluminal yak embolectomy to rupture the emboli and here is the, our publica uh, my publication and initially we uh, the rupture emboli still will occlude the vessel. But so initially we use the vessel dilator to dilate the vessel, which is Viagra. And also use the anti-VEGF and steroid to treat the systole macular edema. Successful, uh, treat all the patients. There are three subtypes of age-related macular degeneration, which is exudative and polypoid choroid vascul vasculopathy and retinal angiomatous proliferation. We successfully used the anti vegf to treat the uh, exudative AM, AMD, which is age-related macular degeneration, and the cystoid macular edema gone. And this is another type, and we also treat with anti vegf to, to release the uh, re retinal pigment epithelium detached and subretinal fluid. And here is dry retina. And also the third type, we uh, double dose the anti vegf and successfully also treat the RAP, which is retina angiomatous proliferation. And this is uh, wet retina, and this is dry retina after treatment. And the uh, choroid neovascularization is not only occur in the uh, Asian people, also occur in the myopia, and which is also treated by the anti vegf anti vegf has been widely used in di diabetes as well. This is diabetic macular edema. After treatment, uh, the edema is gone. This chap is a uh, bronze medal winner in the Olympia, Olympia Asia Olympia game and got also pro proliferative diabetic, mac uh, macular, uh, diabetic uh, retinopathy associated with vitreous hemorrhage after the treatment. The, the, the blood clear and also uh, add some uh, laser and got a very successful vision of 1.0 and this, this chap is a, a marine uh, our, uh, a soldier after retirement he uh, worked as a building worker and got uh, injured by a, a, a water bottle uh, from his colleague and come here got a tractional retina detachment and uh, the other eye also got a uh, hemorrhage and tractional detachment. And left eye had been treated, the right eye. I used the anti vegf and cleared the blood. But he's still not satisfied. He asked me to do the surgery, retract me. And I removed the uh, neovascular membrane and got a 1.0 vision. And this uh, aging uh, lady uh, also got a proliferative diabetic retinopathy associated with just hemorrhage after the vitrectomy and also silicon oil and anti vegf and the retina is attached until now is already six years uh, gone by. But even though that we have successfully treated all these patients, that vision is still very disappointing. So I start from 1996 uh, doing the research uh, uh, using the Western medicine and Chinese herbal, and this is clonidine, which is alpha-2 agonist. Uh, and uh, protect the retina ischemia through the acting at uh, alpha-2 adrenal sector by also upregulating in the basic fiber brass growth sector. And we, in our clinic experience, we have an eye and intraocular foreign body, but after early removal, the vision is still very disappointing. So we look at the uh, eye toxicity. This is our, my publication. And this is, and we have found very important uh, reaction, which is phantom reaction. The iron will trigger a uh, superoxide and uh, hydrogen peroxide produce a very toxic uh, hydroxyl radical here. And e so, even though that after early removal, the uh, uh, retina function is still very poor, and so we look at the, how to regenerate this uh, hydroxyl radical which might cause the ischemic uh, uh, damage which is iron toxicity. We look at the one of the very important uh, uh, Chinese herbal which is uh, Chuanzong. We can find it in the Dangui and, uh, and, and, uh, and uh, uh, Chuanzong 
uh, the active component is ferulic, ferulic acid, which can uh, scavenge the free radical, which is hydroxy radical. It's my publication, and we uh, create this flow chart. Iron will increase the hydroxy radical and increase the uh, glutamate release, and also uh, trigger the calcium flux, which uh, destroy the cell membrane, etc. And we also use another ischemic model to look at the ferulic uh, effect. And actually, we proved that he is a very good uh, uh, hydroxyl radical scavenger. And we, fortunately, we uh, have the first uh, uh, patent, and now we still carry on the human study. And this is uh, my patent. And again, we look at Western medicine, which is very common uh, brain edema agent, which is man mannitol, uh, he got an uh, antioxidant effect, which can reduce the reactive oxygen species and reduce the lipid peroxide and also activate catalyst to turn the very uh, active hydrogen peroxide free radical into safe water, and which is very useful in uh, release the brain edema or retina edema. And again, we look at another Chinese herbal, which is uh, uh, Huangqin. Uh, the active com component is bicalin, and which has an antioxidant effect, can downregulate the uh, VEGF and MMP9, which is very important in creating choroid vascularization in exudative edge-related macular degeneration. And again, here, uh, we know uh, that the mentioned anti-VEGF, but uh, the bicolin has even more uh, effect in downregulated MMP9 and also downregulated HIV1 alpha and uh, upregulated heme oxygen. We carry on look at the heme oxygen uh, effect. So we use a cobalt protoporphyry to upregulate the heme oxygen, which can protect the retinal ischemia. And again, we look at another uh, food science, which is a uh, an active component of the uh, old garlic uh, uh, that the researcher is coming from Shandong. So uh, uh, the sap as allyl l cysteine got an antioxidant effect against the ischemic uh, damaged retina ganglion cell and uh, can reduce the HIF-1 alpha VEGF and also MMP9, which is very important ischemic factor to create a choroid near vascularization, which uh, resulting in the acute edge-related macular degeneration, also can be found in the diabetic retinopathy as well. And fortunately, we got another U uh, United States patent. And we carry on to look at its a protective effect, which can, which can act as a kinase, which is another non-NMDA antagonist. And we carry on another beverage study, which is a green tea, EGCG. Uh, we got a protective effect against the uh, retinal ischemic injured retina ganglion cells. And also we look at the Western, a uh, very popular beverage, which is a red wine called the resveratrol, which can reduce the MMP9 and also have got an antioxidant effect and also can upregulate the protective factor, which is in him oxygen. This is the messenger RNA. And this is defined uh, uh, products. Uh, this is our uh, study group from different countries. <coughs> And again, we uh, move further to the uh, Chinese herbal com combination with the Qi Ji Di Huang Wan. It's a very popular uh, bright eye uh, combination, which can reduce the P38 MAPK, which is mitogen activate protein kinase, and also decrease the MMP9. And this is the messenger RNA proof that uh, uh, it has effect on the defined effect. Also got a... Uh, also got an effect on the enzyme activity as well. This is flow chart. This is our study team. And we look at uh, another rare uh, orchid uh, component, which is Jin uh, Tai uh, Shi. We look at another tumor marker, which is pyruvate kinase MP, M2. 
and the gene type should have got a, a protective uh, effect in the electrophysiology function and also pathologic function, protect the cholinergic neuron, the glial neuron, the, the glial cells, and also by downregulating the PKM2, which is pyruvate kinase M2 protein to decrease the vegetation. This is the uh, this is the protein result. This is our study team. Also, we look at another uh, combination, which has got a tissue plasmogen activator effect, uh, which is Xue Fu Zhu Yitang. We look at another tumor marker, which is uh, uh, retinoblastoma binding protein to and pre ischemia administration post ischemia uh, administration. Oh, got a protect effect, protect the retina ganglion cell and which is retrograde labeling from the superior colicus in the brain uh, by downregulating PKM2, so further downregulating VEGF, and we carry on looking at uh, the RBP2 protein effect. And we also carry on some study on uh, retina stem, stem cell. We uh, compare the brain cortical stem cell pro progenitor and also retina progenitor, retina progenitor, got a greater proliferated and self-renewal ability. Uh, the retina progenitor can differentiate into the glial cells, the retina ganglion cell, and bipolar cells, and also uh, got, uh, can, can go to some uh, cell. Cellular pro property got an NMDA receptor 2 uh, expression, also a very important enzyme, which is glutamic acid decarboxylase. The, the, the enzyme can uh, transfer the glutamate into the GABA, which is uh, one is excitatory amino acid, we, the other one is the inhibitor excitatory amino acid. The cold co progenitor also got an effect uh, uh, to differentiate into the uh, neuron and glial cells as well, and they got different uh, expression, the retina stem cells uh, got uh, expression, overexpression on the glial derived neurotrophic factor, also another stem like the protein is which is nano. And this is autofluorescent uh, retina progenitors after implantation uh, expressed on the outer nuclear layer photoreceptor and also the retina ganglion cell to protect uh, the electrophysiology function. And this is our uh, trip to the El Salvador to offer uh, the surgery for the people there. They are very kind. And this is the uh, other groups, uh, uh, the, the stem cell study. Uh, this study showed that they, the rod uh, progenitor, can, uh, subretina uh, implant, can grow the uh, body process, neuronal process. They got a spe specific uh, photoreceptor process and they can polarize to the outer retina, and they can polarize to the in, uh, integrate to the inner retina as well. They got uh, they can constrict the pupil and uh, uh, increase the blood flow and stay longer in the dark area because the mice uh, stay in the dark area. And yesterday, uh, uh, Professor Ye talking about embryonic stem cells. I uh, cover more. Uh, actually, this uh, stem cell derived retina pigment epithelium has been implanted firstly in the Stargardt disease. Stargardt disease got, is a kind of macular dystrophy, got blue eye phenomenon, and after the implantation, uh, this, this show that the RPE got a, a like human-like a, a, a property, and they, after the implantation, the OCD showed that uh, uh, RP atrophy initially after the implantation, they got a hyperpigmentation. RP uh, grow into. Uh, and this is the vision. Uh, get uh, five letters e EDTRs. And as we know, uh, IPS uh, won uh, Yamanaka a Nobel Prize. But uh, we've got to be very careful, carry on this research. And also uh, the gene therapy in the UK. Uh, they, they carry on some gene study on the choroidoremia, but we got to be very careful because it causes anaphylactic shock and also call, uh, the gene therapy also called a T cell uh, leukemia as well. And this is also UK's uh, uh, retina chip study. 
And we've got to be careful, uh, the neurotransmitter, also uh, the uh, sodium uh, transmit, uh, also some enzymes such as phosphodiesterase to get in the sodium uh, channel, which can release the uh, glutamate neurotransmitter. With the encouragement of uh, Tu Yo Yo, uh, Lady Tu Yo Yo, we know that uh, uh, our Chinese proverbs, prevention is better than cure. So we got to look at the, uh, we look at uh, in the previous, we look at the beverage, we look at the food, we look at the, a lot of Western medicine. And well, two years ago, I went to uh, 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 Europe to for a meeting that they also uh, utilized the brimonity, which the alpha two agonist, and also somatostatin to to uh, bring a kind of new protection for the diabetic retinopathy patients. But in the future, if we want to uh, improve our study, we got to find a new uh, uh, is, uh, disease model, and also we got to uh, look at the scaffold, which is a 3D cell culture. And also we need to find a new uh, disease model for the diabetes. And this is the, uh, I think, uh, quite familiar to uh, uh, Director and Professor Shea. This is the executive, executive uh, retina detachment uh, induced, uh, 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 in the uh, uh, pregnancy induced uh, hypertension. And after this, uh, treatment, uh, the the uh, exude, exude, uh, the subretina fluid is gone. And just a tech home message that uh, if we want to care, uh, sort out the human uh, problem, that we got to uh, have a global teamwork to look at the cell, animal, human, and also such as we Finally, we got to move out so we can see beautiful things such as I meet uh, two beauties at, uh, in El Salvador. We got to move out. And I got uh, videos, uh, if uh, we have enough time, uh, there's only five to ten minutes, because yesterday we didn't cover the fatal second fecal emulsification to do the uh, carrot surgery, and combined with it, we, we have small vitrectomy. Within one day, the patient can, can be discharged, and uh, we can remove the epiretinal membrane very safely with the new technique. Thank you for your attention. Shishia 這個我們校園大學的醫學院的眼科主義長強啊有一個這個我們的院長是眼科學的教授有主國你可能也知道我在那個上次我在那個阿布達比有跟他碰過面對對對謝謝然後呢他口袋中也有三張中藥處方然後
who review. It's very difficult. So we, actually, I myself have a doctor's license. So, so that's why I can pass the. Otherwise, I could spend two thousand to four thousand won in Taipei. That, or what we say, the, uh, that, about eight hundred, eight hundred, the, that, that, uh, eight hundred won of this currency. Uh, we can go through this, that, pilot study. 我我们我们现在 ESCO 实在是非常的严格，非常非常的严格。他们 try to protect all the patients。是。另外讲一句话，是。可希望我们在这个传统医药跟这个中西医结合治疗眼科眼底病这一块，能够一起做一点事情。嗯。有一些我觉得这个条件跟实际都是蛮好的。谢谢，我觉得是刚好是。特别特别受重视，你的讲座特别好。谢谢。我我们实在是很谢谢那个涂悠悠女士呢，给我们很多的这个 encouragement。因为 start from 1996, when I moved to the Oxford University, I talked to my supervisor. I want to、uh, carry on a study about 枸杞子 He said to me that, "Come on, I know nothing about Chinese medicine, so you want me to supervise you? So, so what? So what? What is the use of the supervised for? Because I don't know know anything about the Chinese medicine. So in this all, he, I know, that carry on his study is alpha two agonist clonidine, but which is also an alpha one prototype. I think that for me, it's a very good inspiration. It's also an imidazolid receptor agonist. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. 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 Can, can I have a translator? Well, <laughs> <laughs> 咁下弓係咪治大病咧？誒，下弓是治乙病，上弓是治胃病，中弓是治癒病。所以 ，one is prevention is better than cure. The other, the second one is early treatment. The other one is treat treat the end stage disease. Terminal case. Yes. 啊，第第咁你有一個好實際嘅問題啦。譬如有一個病人有兩次嘅黃斑。即係有個手術嘅，咁而家我哋就話，即係去睇完手術做咗冇事啦，咁啊好開心啦。咁問題咧，點樣去治未病咧？即係或者佢將來黃斑會發展到成為咩嘅其他可能性嘅病病嘅病嘅嘅嘅問題會走出嚟咧？咁樣，咁中醫有冇咩藥啊？有<笑>個中醫師嚟噶嘛？咁可唔可以食咗之後咧，就可以即係防範咧？因為點解咧？我講第一次嘅黃斑，如果引致有第二次黃斑，咁可能會又會引引致第三次嘅黃斑嘅喎，係咪啊？即係如果咁樣嘅 train 嚟睇，咁點樣可以防止咧？好多謝。這個宣主席的意思，就是我們現在這個視網膜的黃斑啊，誒、呃、很多人。到一些年龄都要发生，呃，虽然，呃，用什么手术或者是药物都可以 improve， 那么宣主席问了，在发生的时候，怎么样？还是从预防的方法，呃，有没有什么，呃，你的研究可以提供一些，呃，给我们大家参考？谢谢，呃。谢谢那个谢谢呃谢董事长还有谢教授哈，那我觉得这个问题非常的好，呃 ，actually I try to be a banker to build up all the Chinese herbal or Western herbal which is useful for the 那个黄斑病变。Actually 黄斑现在很多的病变，而且呃我们一般说的黄斑病变大概指的是。Age-related macular degeneration 就是老年性黄斑病变。其实黄斑病变有很多，包括糖尿病的呃黄斑水肿，这也是黄斑病变。还有黄斑上有纤维膜，这也是黄斑病变。还有黄斑上有破洞，这也是黄斑病变。但是因为拜现在的 surgery 的那个 instrument 知识
，现在这些问题都有解了。以前我们在当 resident 的时候，我们当住院医师，大概就回去了。但是现在没有，现在一定把它治好。黄斑破洞把它补起来，这个黄斑皱褶把它拿掉，那一天就可以回家了。但是呢，老年性黄斑病变有新生血管，以前我们确实是做手术，但是把 photoreceptor 感光细胞都拿掉，这样当然是没有视力。那对的中药来说，它是治胃病，最主要是在治胃病。所以，其实我刚才已经我的 study 里面有一个叫做曲脊地黄丸，但是什么 dose is a secret because。I always got a patent. Now it's already sent to the USA. 呃，这个哈、哦，事实上里面还有 lutein。我们大家都在吃叶黄素，是不是？其实我们，其实我们中药里面很多都有叶黄素啊。枸杞、菊花里面都有 lutein， 就都有叶酸性、玉米黄质、叶黄素这些东西。事实上，我们只是不知道而已。也许我们这个八国联军之后，我们好像对中国人对自己的老东西都已经失去了信心。但是呢，我是。有信息，尤其是屠呦呦女士给我们很多更多的信息。我们一直，我们二十年来都一直在做这个事情。所以，另外还有缺血，其实很多女性都吃过的，哈、哦，叫做四物汤。这个豆子也是 secret， 我们都有有都有 patent 哈、哦。那你说，如果能够把缺血当名目加起来的话，对某些人他本来就是有那种 predisposing factor， 比如说他的他的爷爷奶奶。它有黄斑病变，我们其实吃这个东西非常的安全的时候，你当然你可以把它当做 prevention 在吃啊，好，那也没有什么也没有什么败坏。那当你有病的时候，我们当然可以结合一些西医的一些 technique 来一起做。所以说，呃，我不知道有没有解释的这个我们的那个主席的这个呃、这个、回回答。对不起，我插插一句。这个鸡胃病，我们发现有没有什么 genomic studies 可以 predict later development of 呃、uh, 黄斑？对不起，有，有有一个叫 CH5， 我记得是那个这个事实上做这个 study 很很多，但是呢，我一直觉得哈，很多东西都是 polygenetic。You see one side， but actually 就好像冰山的一角而已。那就好像大摸着大象一样，摸着他的鼻子，你觉得说像鼻子的样子。我认为很多都是 polygenetic， 所以中医伟大的地方就是是它有十二经络，它有阴阳五行，它整只都是 cover。但是 however， 你怎么去呢？都知道说什么叫热，什么叫湿，什么叫热，什么叫火，好、哦，这些东西什么叫痰，你根本就不知道。但是你当你知道 Western medicine 很多的时候，你就可以把它捆绑在一起。变成一个 integral 的 medicine， 那 that will be very helpful。So in the future， 像我在中国医药大学，我去那边，我在阳明大学上课，我在中国医药大学上课。阳明大学还没有那么多外国人，中国医药大学有 German， 有 Russian， 他们是要去学什么？他们就是要去学中医而已。他们很多都是那个 engineering， 很多人都是 scientist。Uh, I'm most intrigued by your talk on using stem cell in treating uh, retinal uh, ischemia. Thank you. I, I, I'm quite confident that we can put the stem cell and it will adhere on the retina. But ischemia is not just on the uh, retinal cells. How about the, the nerve injury uh, following ischemia? So if you just replace the retinal cells, would that be able to uh, recover? The loss of vision because the ischemic effect uh, on the neurons, optic nerve, and so on, would that be、uh, repairable? Thank for your brilliant questions.、Uh, first of all, I got to be very cautious in the stem cell study because, as we know, the Yamanaka group now sent their apology for their scandals. So we got to be very careful in the、uh, stem cell study. Also, the gene study. I, as I said before, I think that integral medicine is the future direction. That not just the stem cell, because at the end of it, our our neuron has been dead. So you got to replace the cell. So I think that's very difficult because we are talking about monolayer cells, or we are talking about a scaffold, three D cell. So now、uh, I have shown our result. We use the three D scaffold and to grow the stem cells. And actually,、uh, different to Yamanaka's study, we actually we try to look at primary cell. 
I think that there are some cells, stem cell inside of it. So uh, in addition to the stem cell, I think that the milieu is very important. I think maybe you've got to uh, provide the milieu for the cells, for the stem cell to grow. But actually, our human body is so is such a sophisticated uh, uh, you know, condition. You've got a cell, you've got neurotransmitter, you've got a lot of things, you've got a 3D dimension. So I think that uh, in the future, uh, so that's why I, I think that a retina chip maybe still got a long way to go because we cannot, we cannot provide milieu for the retina chip. Uh, it, it, did I uh, answer your question? Thank for your question. 最後一兩個問題的觀眾有沒有要問這個趙教授的<笑> 這位是李樹,這位是香港中文大學的醫學院的二年級學生,他有我們人來的,他有來到學校長,他有一個校長,他有一個校長,他有一個校長,他有一個校長,他有一個校長,他有一個校長,他有一個校長,他有一個校長,
好，咁啊時間咧就啱啱好啦。我諗大家都同意咧，我哋呢個研討會嘅特色咧，除咗有好精彩嘅演講之外咧，仲跟住有啲好深層嘅多方面嘅討論嘅。咁時間亦都係掌握得好好嘅，非常之多謝你。謝謝謝謝